Hey everybody, Allison here with Southland Goldens. I'm here for our week three video of our Betty and Jack litter. So the puppies are up, we are walking. Um, you guys remember last week, they were trying to get their, their footing and kind of look like the wobbly deer face, uh, but we are up, we're walking. We're kind of creeping around like green is right here. Um, this time next week, these puppies are gonna be running full speed into everything. So, but we're in that very crucial socialization window. So we're introducing new sounds, new people, continuing to handle them. Um, we are finished with the ENS exercises. Um, so we have completed that. I know you guys did so good. You did so, so good. So big, big change this week. As far as, like I said, we're up, we're walking, we're doing all the fun things. We started to look like little puppy dogs. Yes, we do. We're getting to where we really like to be petted, a little bit of affection in that right green. Yeah. We still basically eat, sleep, repeat. Um, so really not a lot to say about their temperaments this week. Uh, if you guys remember, I said week four, that's when it really starts to get fun. That's when we've really started to notice, hey, who's the most outgoing? Who's the most laid back? Who's the most, who's the most reserved when we kind of introduce new sounds and stuff? But just like this right here, like look at little green. I just want all the pets. Yes, I do. And my little, our little tails are starting to wag. Hey, black. Hey, 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 guys. Um, couple things. So I hope you guys all noticed the supply recommendations that I posted last week. You'll see on there the food that we feed. That is super important. It's not a okay. You don't want me to stop petting you. I won't stop. Uh, it's not it's not a food that is sold in stores. So please make sure you go ahead and get that ordered. We want to make sure that you have it in ready to go by the time your puppy joins you. Um, you'll also see on there, we're really big on crate training for the potty training process. I recommend a large crate, one that has a divider. That's in the link that I sent um, on that blog. But the reason for that is these puppies are going to grow so fast. You don't want to have to buy a crate every other week. So get the large crate, get the one with the divider. What you're gonna do is as your puppy grows, you're going to give them enough room to stand up, turn around and lay back down. That's all they need. That's the, all the space that they need. Um, so make sure we go ahead and have that. Again, I'm not really big on an adult dog being in a crate. I think once you have a pup that's potty trained and you can trust it's not in that teething phase, then do away with the crate. But it is super important in the beginning it helps with the potty training process. It helps, it helps keep them safe whenever you are not there. Um, they can't get into anything. Go ahead and start puppy proofing your home. I mean, these are like bringing a toddler in. They, they can get remotes that have batteries, so make sure that's out of reach. Um, get on your hands and knees, crawl around. Make sure there's no wires that these guys can get into. You'll see right now we're like in a playpen setting. This is a really good thing to have, especially you know, if you're cooking dinner or something and you can't keep an eye on your puppy, that way you make sure they're safe. Well, Green, you just, you are still in the show right now because you just want to be petted. Oh, and you too, Black. Yeah. A um, couple things. You're going to see that I have now put these ribbons on the puppy. As the videos go along, you might see them scratching. We only put these ribbons on for the video sake, and that is just solely so you guys can tell who is who. Our little coats are starting to get thick and it's hard to see who's who with these collars. So let me turn this around real fast so you guys can see where everybody is. We've got purple right here. This is brown. Underneath is black. Ooh, nope, sorry. Underneath is gray. Uh-oh, your little collar just popped off. Let me put that back on. Underneath is gray right there. If I can get that, there we go. And we have yellow. We have, this is black right over here, green, orange, red, blue, and white. So it's really hard to get a video with these guys up and playing because we've only got a few minutes. So as soon as I hit record, if they're up and playing within about 60 seconds, they're going to be sound asleep. Uh, but I will try to spread them out before the end of the video just so you guys can see them kind of walk around. Um, we're not at the point yet where we are eating our puppy mush. We will start that midweek uh, when we're closer to that four week mark. Uh, so they are still currently nursing 
Betty's doing great. Um, she's keeping all these guys really well fed. We're weighing them still all throughout the day just to make sure none of the little ones are not eating. But she's got some really big puppies. Um, and Red is not the biggest guy anymore. I know, the one we've been calling Clifford. We're still going to call him Clifford. Um, but he's not, he's not the biggest guy. He got passed. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stand up. We're going to go over the girls first. We're going to talk about um, their weights. Again, we're really not going to touch any on their temperaments until next week. We'll have week four, week five, and week six. that We will talk a lot about that before you have to pick which puppy or is yours. So don't stress that right now. All right, so let's go with the girls. I'm coming right back, Green. Watch Green. Comes right back once. You want some attention? Yeah, you are just, you're going to be my little snuggle bug, aren't you? Yes, you are. Everybody else is asleep and you just want all the attention. And that is perfectly fine. After the video, I will give you all the attention. <laughs> all right, so our biggest girl is going to be Miss White. Miss White is currently 4.3 pounds. Um, just like last week, you can see our eyes are now wide open. Our ears are unsealed. That's why we're in that crucial, crucial socialization window. We can see now. We can hear now. So we will safely expose them to all the things that will help make them a confident dog. What do you think? Right now, we just want to sleep. So this is Miss White, our biggest girl. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is Miss White, our biggest girl at 4.3. See if she, she's following me. I'm coming back. All right, next over here, all the way on the other side. Oh, goodness. Next is Miss Purple. Miss Purple is 4.26, so not far from Miss White. Um, little chunky girl second in size is going to be miss purple at 4.26 and i think she's about to fall right back asleep let's see if I... so they have been getting used to being handled we run our fingers through their paw pads through their gums through their ears Luke is helping us make all the necessary noises. She's right back asleep. Snoring. <laughs> all right. Next we have, it's your turn, Miss Green. Oh, yes. All righty. So we have Miss Green. Miss um, Green is 4.1 pounds. So we've got... These three girls are really close in size. Um, you guys are getting to see that Miss Green obviously likes a lot of attention. Really sweet girl. Yes, you are. She has a beautiful coat too, a really light colored coat. Um, so this is Miss Green, right there in the middle for weight at 4.1, 4.1. And now for our two smaller girls. Um, next in size is Miss Yellow. Miss Yellow is 3.6, so still a really good size girl. Remember, she was one of our really smaller ones. Um, but she has pushed all these big boys out of the way and made sure that she has been able to eat, hadn't you? Yeah. This is Miss Yellow at 3.6. Are you gonna to yawn too? I use it oh, right on the ear. I'm really good at that. I'm really pretty good at putting puppies to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Look at everybody on this pillow. Oh no. I guess I'll put you on the pillow too. You'll have to move when I do your brothers. Okay. Let's see. All the way over here. Does anybody else wish they could sleep this good? I sure do. Oh my goodness. I mean, pick up, be handled, and set right down and go right back to sleep. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so this is our smaller girl, Miss Gray, at 3.5. Not a super teeny tiny girl or anything like that, just smaller compared to um, some of those big, big sisters. So this right now is our smaller girl. Her and Miss Yellow have kind of gone back and forth. 
I would say that they're going to be the more petite girls from this litter. So this is Miss Gray at 3.5. Our next puppy's dreaming. All right, so I told you guys that Mr. Red is no longer the big man on campus. And that is because Mr. Blue, which if you can see him right here, he's currently dreaming. I don't wanna wake you up, scare you. Must be chasing rabbits. All right, so this chunk with a very thick coat, if I didn't have the ribbon on him, you would not be able to tell that this is Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue is now 4.7 pounds. Definitely going to be a big boy. What you think? You wanna fall right back asleep? Oh, is he? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Blue. All right, so this is Mr. Blue, our big guy at 4.7. And another yawn right on cue. And another puppy going right back to sleep. My pillow's getting a little full. I'm running out of room. I'm going to need a bigger pillow. All right, next in size, which has been our big boy. Yes, sir is going to be Mr. Red. So Mr. Red is now 4.23. So I think he hit his growth spurt really um, in the beginning. Well, not his only growth spurt. Obviously he's gonna be a big boy, but he grew a lot fast. Um, so he's kind of mellowed out a little bit on that weight. And that's why Mr. Blue passed him. So this is our second in size. I still think he's going to be a really big boy, a really big blocky boy. Um, this is Mr. Red at 4.2. We'll call you 4.2. How about that? All right. Next in size is going to be Mr. Black. And Mr. Black is where we start to have that big jump in size for our boys. He is 3.84, so we've got blue and red, big man's on campus, big guys on campus, big man, big man on campus. Can you tell I'm slightly uh, sleep deprived from the puppies, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, you guys are worth it. So <laughs> the big guys on campus are red and blue. Next we have black at 3.84. And right back asleep. Okay, moving on is going to be Mr. Brown. Here, come on, big guy. All right, so this is Mr. Brown at 4.72. So yeah, I'm starting to catch up. Starting to catch up with those guys. Are you awake? He was one of our first to really get up and truly walk. Um, so I'll try to set him down over here when I put him down so you guys can see him because he's going to try to get back to his litter mates. So this is Mr. Brown, 3.72, and another yawn. All right, let's see if we can't get him over here. Come on. You going to come on? He said, I don't really know where everybody is. Good boy, good boy. Nice and slow. This time next week we'll be running. Hey, big guy, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. See, already come when called. He's perfectly trained. Look at, him. Look at this face. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. Is that not adorable? All right, so for our smallest guy, yeah. Oh, nice and warm. All right, for our smallest guy, I see you, Mr. Brown. We have Mr. Orange. He has kind of maintained that smaller guy position. He is 3.5. So he's not a runt or anything like that. He's just a little bit smaller than his siblings. Mr. Orange at 3.5 pounds. 
All right, I'm gonna spread just a few of them out so you guys can kind of maybe see them up. I know I have said it a several times. Our week four video is really when it starts to become more entertaining because we don't do a whole lot. We just kind of eat, sleep, repeat. Yeah, we don't do, well, purple, you just make yourself comfortable. I moved Miss White and she just spread right on out. Yeah, you did. There goes gray and look at little orange. Good job, guys. Hey, hey. Well, purple's starting to wake up too. No, you're just gonna move and lay on Mr. Red. I promise, promise, promise that this is going to become more entertaining when we get closer. Um, we do have a couple of puppies that are available on this litter. So uh, if you're interested, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions, send any additional information. Uh, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to, checking off all the little boxes at this age. We're starting to introduce new sounds, for example, fireworks, vacuums traffic, kids playing, all the things that they're going to encounter. Uh, what we want to do is expose them to that at a young age so that once they move home to you guys and they hear those sounds that they recognize it and it's, it's nothing scary. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, make sure you checked out, make sure you check out that supply recommendation. Look at white right there. You see her over here? Oh, fading fast. Oh, she's She's falling asleep and he's gone. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we will see you back here next week for that week four video. Hope you have a great weekend.